Hi, this is Dr. Rugenstein, and we are today um, at a welcome center on the New York State Thruway. And um, it's kind of uh, interesting, I guess. That's the best way to look at it. Let me turn this around. There's the Thruway out there. This is westbound. And we are at the Mohawk Valley Welcome Center. Now, it used to be called the Lock E13 Living History Rest Center, but um, they changed the name when they redid it. And so we're going to take a little walk around here and see what's see what's here. Now the the stop itself um, celebrates three of New York transportation arteries. Now obviously there's a throughway over there, and then uh, we think of the Erie Canal, which no doubt you caught that with the uh, with the uh, tugboat, I guess is what barge barge boat, I guess that's what it would be. And the other one, of course, is rail, which is actually on the other side of the Mohawk River. And uh, you'll see that over there also. The rail was put in by uh, New York Central originally. And then it, uh, today it's part of CSX. And it's called the Mohawk Subdivision. It's the main rail system that comes through here. And so we'll, we're going to take a look around here. Uh, a little bit more. Now, at one time, the Erie Canal came through here. Probably, maybe over on the other side of the road. Um, there are locks over there, which we can't get to right now. This is actually part of what was called the Barge Canal. They've kind of gone back to the idea of the Erie Canal again. Um, but the Barge Canal was created in the early 1900s. And what they did was they had to have a wider transportation system than what they had with the, the Erie Canal. A lot of the Erie Canal went down through um, cities. And of course that would have created a lot more infrastructure. A lot more things of uh, changes in, in city and urban planning. And so what they did was they decided to use the, the Mohawk River as part of the canal system. Here you can see it's lock E13. Um, that all says no trespassing all the way over there. So we're not going to try to do that. But here's the lock here. Those are flood control gates, I guess, if you want to think of it that way. Uh, they're open now, and you can see that the uh, the Mohawk River is rather down, I guess, if you want to think of it that way. Um, but when they want to run it as a canal system, they close these, and of course they raise the water level along the way. Look around here a little more. We'll go back over by the Welcome Center in a moment here. A little chilly today. It's probably around 32, I guess. And uh, well, no one's going to be picnicking out here. <clears throat> Another view of the locks there. You can see how those gates come down. Hold back a considerable amount of water. And then, of course, over there is the uh, railroad tracks. Uh, used, also. Not just, um, not, not uh, abandoned or anything like that. That's the main line. A lot of don't climb over the fence here. Damn, that's not a bridge. Uh, mighty floods sweep down the Mohawk almost every spring. Builders of the original Erie Canal 
recognized the river's power and laid out their artificial waterway well above low, low, uh, flood levels. Large canal engineers dredged river channels and replaced stone and timber with steel and concrete. They still had no plans, no plan for the awesome power of the Mohawk River. Locks and dams changed uh, river levels into uh, stair steps. Eight distinctive movable dam, dam structures between Schenectady and Fort Plain, designed to pass high water. Looked like bridges, only two carry roadways. So there you go. what's down in there but it is big it is big well whatever it is it's concrete with rebar sticking out of it that's pretty interesting and this gives you another look over there this is a play center over here for the kitties and again this is under 24 hour surveillance everything around here is under 24 hour surveillance <coughs> we'll go in that that center in a moment here but right now we're just going to take a look Oh, it talks about the battlefields. Kirkwood Monument. Kirkwood Heroics. <coughs> Shoes or socks only, no high heels on playground. Okay. Do not sit on statue. Ha! I see. The kitties probably love that. Let's go in here and see what we have inside. Celsius. Closed for season. I guess if you got kitties, it's a little too late. That looks like the half staff. We'll walk in here and see what we got. We haven't figured out yet. Blue and yellow are state colors. These are propellers. Aha! There we go. Amtrak. Perfect. Threw away the canal and the train. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's see what we find in here. Well, it's going Mohawk history. Native Americans, of course. This is the Mohawk Valley. Here. 
that's food, of course. Food? I hate the New York, eh? But they have a lot of different things here. Mighty interesting. Here's the state map. That is where we are. Types of brochures. A little bit of everything for everybody. They can see the area canal going across there. Well, we'll continue our little walk around here. them when they're doing this or not. Now as I said I believe the ear canal part was on the other side. Because on the other side there is there is a spot that's sort of a museum and I believe they have uh, locks there. I'm going to go back over here for a second. I don't think this ditch here, I don't think that's part of the original canal. I think if it was, they'd play it up a lot more than they have. Although, that's certainly a canal building over there. So I don't know. We're going to walk up this spot here. Which is stay out. But, as you know, some of you, it doesn't always keep me from being somewhere. It says no vehicles, but it doesn't say anything about anything else. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Big stone there. Well, we'll just walk up here for a second and see what we can see. That looks just like drainage. Close the season. I think this was part of the canal. I think the canal was on the other side originally. That's what I believe. And I think this is some sort of gatehouse. At least that's what I'm guessing. Because that doesn't... Look that. If the canal came through here, it's been so much sized over time, you can't tell what it is. see what this says here. Danger. Okay. Shock and flash hazard. Arch flash hazard. This is power this is power panels. That is what that is. We are going up. You can't really see. Well, you 
you can see. Oh my. What's here? This is a trail. Oh, what is this? Well, whatever it is, it's gated off. It goes under the throughway. Wow, I think this was actually part of the canal at one time. I do, I do. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just sewer. Hard to say. Can't get through. It's padlocked shut. That's okay. Come to the dark side. We have... Well, that's interesting. I don't think this was... I think this is just electric outlets, things of that nature. Um, yeah. I don't think this is part of the canal. I don't think so. I still think the canal was on the other side. But this is certainly part of the old barge canal system. There's no doubt about that. See if I can get a better shot from this side over here. This angle. Looks like generators, things like that in there. This was a road that went over to the other side. It might have been all part. I, geez, I don't know. These trees are relatively old. Of course, this was a, a rest stop, uh, not as grandiose as this before, but certainly, certainly fairly important uh, spot. But now it's Mohawk Valley Welcome Center. That was pretty good. We Throughway, canal, and the railroad. All together. Pretty marvelous. I didn't walk to the other side of the lock, so I think that would be unnecessary. Electrical. The only reason I think this has something to do with the original canal here is because of that. But I don't know. I don't know. Ah, hear a train in the background. Another one coming through. Another train coming through. And this is an actual canal boat, state boat, BB-115. Up on top. Once they're on, on kerosene. Sir. I didn't say stay out. I don't see anything that says stay out. Anything we see inside there? I don't know. Do 
New York State Canals. And there we go. Freight train. Intermodal. I wonder if there's any riders. It'd be a cold trip today. It sure would. The transportation hub of New York. The thruway, the canal, and the railroad. So, I hope you enjoyed this little look at this really a rest stop, but it really exemplifies what uh, was it one time what made New York the Empire State. So please subscribe, ring the bell, tell others, hit, um, um, hit the bell, subscribe, leave a comment, especially if you like this stuff, and uh, have a good day. This is Dr. Rubenstein. Thank you for watching. I really, truly appreciate it. Please help me reach 5,000 subscribers. Have a good day.